Once upon a time, there was a little black girl in the Brewster Projects of Detroit, Michigan. At 15, she was spotted by an Ebony Fashion Fair talent scout, and her modeling career took off. You better work.
to be with y'all tonight, and I've come, I've come to bring you a message, probably the most important message you'll ever hear in your entire life. The message is, <laughs> you've seen my act before, haven't you? <laughs> the message is, ladies and gentlemen, love yourself, learn how to love yourself, because if you don't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen in here? See? Right? Right? See? Right? It's the truth, honey. It's the truth. I'm trying to school you niggas, okay? Okay? No. I don't want you to have to go through the same thing I had to go through to, to learn how to love myself. You know, the day I started loving myself, that was the day I got my record contract. Sell the garment. Sell the garment. <laughs> it's true. It's all about love, ladies. The love is the answer. Everybody say love. love. Everybody say love. love. Now drive that shit down the interstate with your bad ass. <laughs> it's true. Nikki? Nikki who? Oh, yeah? All right, God damn it. All my friends have come out tonight. All the beautiful kids have come out, you know? All your beautiful faces. You know, when I travel around, I travel all over the country, and I wish I was a camera sometimes so I could remember all of your faces and the love that I feel you're sending to me. 
I think you're absolutely the best. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You're wonderful. <laughs> it's great, you know. When I look at you and I look at the audience, I see the future. You know, you are the future. We have, are making history. And I want to tell you that whatever your dream is, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your dream, you know. I mean, who would have thought a seven-foot-tall black drag queen would have a record contract? <laughs> Only in America. And you know, it's funny, things are changing. I, what I said all that to say, that you, each of you have a dream. You want to be loved, you want to be respected, go for it. You know, I moved to New York City from Atlanta, Georgia with a pair of high heels and a dream, okay? I did, I did. And look at the bitch now. <laughs> it's true, and I said that, hold on to your dreams, ladies. You know, my favorite movie is Wizard of Oz because, <laughs> yes, is it on tonight? Oh, it's tomorrow night. I love that movie because in the, she says to the good witch, why in the hell you didn't tell me? I all I had to do is click my heels three motherfucking times and I'll be home, you know? And the, good, and the good witch says, darling, because you would not have believed me. Well, I'm here to tell each of you, hold on to your dreams. Whatever it may be, it may sound weird now, but you can do it, hold on. I'm living proof of that, okay? Things are changing. I'm very optimistic about the future. We have those sexy Democrats in the White House now. very optimistic I, about the future. I think things are really going to change. You know, actually, when Al Gore and Bill Clinton won in November, and they got up on stage and embraced that time, it clicked for me right then and there. They are gay, honey. They are gay, baby. <laughs> they are lovers. Okay? I think we have a gay White House, baby. You, I know, if you think Bill Clinton is hot, raise your hand if you think he's hot. Do you think he's hot? Well, first of all, he's got the southern accent going for him. You can't beat that, you know? You think Al Gore is sexy? <laughs> it's great. It's really wonderful. Well, it's just a really exciting time to be alive, you know? It's just really, really phenomenal, you know? How, have you seen the supermodel video, everybody? Yeah! You've seen it? <laughs> My favorite part is, is the part where I'm running down the street with the little girls holding yeah. hands. You know that scene? Yeah. My other favorite scene, there's a scene where I'm like obviously lip syncing and my lips are going like this. <laughs> Do you know that one? <laughs> I, it's my favorite. <laughs> where can it get? The video's not available now on, uh, domestically, but it's, it's on MTV in the box. But you know, when they told me it was on BET, honey, I like to flip over and eat a bug. <laughs> I did, you know? BET, Black Entertainment Television. <laughs> Hello. Say Shaka Khan. <laughs> RuPaul and Shaka Khan coming up next on BET. <laughs> I love it. It's really great. It's really, really wonderful. I think it's really good. The what? What is that, honey? The nails. I mean, we're doing a little a grunge glamour today. <laughs> glamour grunge. Yes, that's it. <laughs> In fact, actually, let's take some questions from the audience now. Is the caller there? You're on the air. Is the caller there? We'll take some. We'll take some. We'll take, we'll take some questions. Now, what's your name and what's your question? My name is Mara, and I want to know what your real name is. My real name is Chaka Khan. <laughs> no. no, no, it's true. My real name is actually RuPaul. Isn't that funny? It's actually RuPaul Andre Charles. And my mother got the name out of Ebony Magazine, and I think with a name like RuPaul Andre Charles, she either wanted me to get into show business or become a hairdresser. <laughs> so I chose both. How do you like my hair? <laughs> this is the front, and this is the back. <laughs> okay, Annie, now what's your, what's your, I hear somebody saying, um, how old am I over here? I'm ignoring that question. <laughs> now, <laughs> what's your name and what's your question, honey? Never lose control of the mic. I learned that on the Jackson special. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm Bobo Dream Boy. And my question is, has fame spoiled you? And what do you expect in your future? Well, you know, they, um, everybody says, you know, whatever happened to that kid from Atlanta, Georgia? Whatever happened to that little drag queen? He used to run around the streets on roller skates and all that kind of stuff. 
whatever happened to her? And I go, who? <laughs> so, no. <laughs> That's an old joke. Anyway, um, what was the question? <laughs> Yes, yes, I am spoiled, spoiled, rotten. Spoiled, rotten. <laughs> and la later I'll have you, later on I'll have you all calling me Miss Ross. From now on, refer to me as Miss Ross. <laughs> right, so, okay, what's your name? Oh, is it, it's over here. What's your name and what's your question? My name is Thale, and I want to know how tall you are with your heels and your hair. <laughs> That's a setup. Honey Dale with hair, heels, and attitude. I'm through the motherfucking roof, baby. <laughs> yeah, you guys heard me on uh, Q1106 today. They're here. <laughs> they, were, they were a lot of fun today down there. I want you guys to call up and bug them about the record. Have them request, re -rec request, request down there, okay? Now, I want before we move on to the next number in the show, I want you guys to know that my cousins are here and everybody. Give them a big round of applause to Lisa and those guys. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Thanks for coming out, you guys. No, we're gonna, um, are there any supermodels? What, we have some, uh, the peanut gallery wants to say something. <laughs> what, what, honey? Yeah. Are you a or are you a They wanna know. <laughs> They want to know if I'm a top or a bottom. Do you know what that is? <laughs> you need to know. I'll show you after the show tonight. Meet me after the show. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Whatever it is. Okay, we'll take one more question, and then uh, we'll take one more question, and then we'll move on with the show. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What's your name and what's your number, baby? What's your name and what's your question? Well, my name is Brian, but everybody calls me Miss Harkay. Sashay Harkay. <laughs> and my question is, what do you say to people that come up and tell you that drag is wrong? Well, you know, I mean, they're, they're so uninformed. I don't have nothing to say to those people because they're really, really dumb if they ask me that question. <laughs> you, know, you know what I say to the, someone who comes out to me and says, um, you know, drag is true, the first thing I say is, taxi. <laughs> Just get, you know, it's like, you know, it's funny. I think the drag explosion would happen with or without me. I think after the 80s, things had gotten so dark and bleak that people were going to bust out. Like the pendulum had swung so far to the right that it's going to come crashing back to the left, honey. <laughs> and, it's, you know, it would happen with or without me. And it will happen with the girls, with the girls or without the girls, you know. Here's, we have a supermodel over here. All the supermodels came out tonight. Looking good, honey. Yeah, maybe I can get you to sashay with me in a minute. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. Are there any other supermodels? I know there's a supermodel. Where are all the supermodels? There's a supermodel over there. There's some supermodels. I see. There's a supermodel right there. <laughs> Is there supermodels over here? Okay. Listen, I want to. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Now, I want to, before we move on with the show, I want you guys to um, put your hands together for our DJ, Mike in the booth. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Great. Really great. So, Mike, let's roll that, that tape again, and I want to show you guys how it's done. Can, do you sashay? Do you sashay? Honey, I sashay every day. Do you sashay? Do you sashay? Do you sashay? Honey, I sashay every motherfucking day. Let's roll that tape, baby. Oh, you look good. You better work. Let me show you how it's done. You better work. work. Back you off, better baby. work. Back, back there. Honey. You better work. work. 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 Shantae. Yeah. Let me see if you can 
Big round of applause. 